Welcome to Revit MAB course. In this session, we will continue the modeling of the HVAC. Okay. As we agreed, the to put the mechanical equipment first. Here, for example, we need to make this route, so we will put the mechanical equipment first. But to adjust the level, to take the same level of any equipment that you put already like this we put already three nine okay so we are following the same at three nine zero zero and to put here okay and then we have the in from here and out from here so we need to make rotation okay by the space it will make rotation then create duct and make 450 by 350 so 450 by 350 like this yes it's okay then after this to change the, the uh, to change the size to be 450 by 250 okay yes like this till here and then it will be 450 by 150 150 like this then go up until the last branch and then you can adjust this to the design location but to move this also move this also to not make any error like this like this okay then to put the diffuser we have here return and here return and here supply and here supply let's start by the supply diffuser supply diffuser okay three four fifty the ceiling level and then to put here okay and also to be put here okay so then we need the return diffuser i will put here three four fifty but you cannot put the same way of the supply because it will connect also and this is wrong so we will put in another location and this is okay here to be put here it's okay 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 so after that you can move this to the location of the diffuser okay to not make any connection and this is white color and this is blue so we are okay okay then here we can continue the product to the last diffuser okay this diffuser you have two options you have to you can put the diffuser and then make flexible so i will put the supply and then 3450 and then you can make flex as we know like this here like this okay so this is solution okay so we did this system now okay here we have this room by two split units split units need to insert families so i will make load families okay this folder you will find in the description resources okay and then here families additional families mechanical then you can make mechanical vrvi this okay load now it's loading in the project and then to put these two units from also mechanical equipment and to adjust this to be 3900 for example uh -huh, like this yes first one like this and the second one like this so we have these two units okay then you can check the 3d to see them on the room to see what happened yes it's okay now yes this is the two split units like the design okay okay so now we did another system another uh, modeling for another system like the split units 
اوكي اوكي ليتس ستارت تو ميك ذيس فان كول يونت ذيس فان كول يونت ان ذيس كيس وي هاف ريتيرن داكت ان ذيس كيس وي هاف ريتيرن داكت سو وي ويل بوت ذا فان كول يونت از وي اجريد هير ذا فان كول يونت لايك ذيس هير بوت وي ويل ادجست ذا ليفل تو بي 3900 لايك ذيس اند موف ليتل بيت اوكي اند هير وي هاف ذا اوت بوت داكت 450 by 250 also the same by 250 like here till here till here okay okay then we will put the side diffuser side diffuser okay and also we have fire damper so you go to duct accessory to have fire damper and to put here in the center line yes it is okay Then air terminal and we can search for the side diffuser. M supply grill. This is okay. Supply. Oh no. So we will make insert load families and go to the folder families and HVAC air terminal. So here you will find M supply diffuser linear slot. You can use this or This side wall, return, return air grill, return air grill, okay, supply air, and this, okay, we can try to make download for, uh, load for all of this, this, okay, and make supply, the supply linear, and return, to use them, open, to load all of them, Okay. It's loading. Loading the families. This is the way to make loading the families. Okay. Then, okay. Then we will put the air terminal here. This is the air terminal that we need. I will put like this in any location. And then I will drag one duct from it okay to adjust this with this here we have the duct 450 by 250 okay okay so we need to adjust this also i will select the diffuser and the duct that coming from the diffuser to be 450 as a width by disconnect okay by 250 as a height and then you can delete You can delete this reducer. Now we adjusted the grill. Okay, we adjusted the grill. Okay, and then go with this duct here. This to be the same elevation of this aligned with it. This is three nine, so this must be also three nine, like this. And then bring the three D. Hmm. Yes, it is almost. You can make connection between this and this. Okay, so this is how to do the connection. The fire damper must be inside the wall like this. So this is how to make the side diffuser. Okay, then from here we will go the in plenum like this, and then duct 250 by 250. So I will make create similar. And then 250 here 250 by 250 and to go from this side here to then go to the wall like we can put here first and then to put the return air terminal to go to the return return 450 by 250 is okay. And to put like this, this is the correct orientation. The level and to make a small piece from the duct like this, small piece to make this in the same level of the other. So this is three nine. So to make this and make it three nine also to have in the same elevation and then to 
make the connection like the design okay so at the end we have the the equipment with the duct return and supply okay if i need to select all system i can just just make on the equipment and then tab tab to select all the system and then go to selection box to make the 3d here go down by the section box you will find that the equipment with the supply duct with the return duct is okay now we are okay okay thank you very much